folks, this is the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. It's about the early days of sideband radio, uh, tube type radios, so one thing and another. We meet and greet, have some conversations. There might be a little buying and trading going on if it's boat anchor related. Um, let's see. I'm sure I'm leaving some stuff out. It is a directed net. Uh, all comments and stuff but at any rate um, I don't have a list started so we'll just have to back we we'll just have to start off with a horse race but um, y'all know the drill and uh, <laughs> I guess uh, we'll see if I can stay on frequency long enough to do this uh, it's km5 QS uh, anybody for the bone anchors net come now please Charlie I go Victor golf Oscar Echo 5, go back. November 5, Delta, Mike Charlie. RZN. J, J, J. Okay, I've got a bunch here. I missed one, uh, Echo Mike Charlie or something like that. Yeah, Delta, Mike Charlie, J. Oh, yeah, Delta, okay, all right. Let me start off with these and then I'll take some more. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Good morning. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, uh, running the uh, unboat anchor, the Icon 765. Well, it's big enough to be one. And did some work on the amplifier. Got some more tubes in it. And uh, worked around with the mic a little bit. And been doing that and some other things. So I didn't get to put the 520 or the 820 on today. And uh, other than that, everything's going pretty good. Hearing everybody extremely well today. Uh, it's a good band right now. Anyway, we will catch you all further down, like next week maybe, or whenever in between. Everybody uh, have a good net, and everyone's sounding exceptionally well today. J5CXT. All right, Bob. That's, uh, oops, okay. Let me return just a hair. I'm not tuning. I'm just getting it back on free on some frequency. There we go. Okay. Uh, thanks, Bob. You're sounding good. And I uh, didn't mention a while ago, but I'm on a set of Kenwood Twins. It's uh, 599D. And I'm uh, going through a dummy load attenuator thing and, and, uh, and an alpha so that I don't blow something up. But at any rate putting out about a kilowatt. Um, that's what I got. Let's see. Victor Gulf Oscar. Thank you very much. This is WA5VGO, WA5 Victor Gulf Oscar. My name is Daryl, and I'm in Kingwood near Houston. And I would appreciate a really critical report on this. This is only the second time I've had this rig on the air. It's homebrew, uh, single conversion, 9 megacycle IF, and a pair of 6146s in the power amplifier, and barefoot tonight. It's a long way from being completed, but uh, hopefully it doesn't sound too terribly bad. WA5VGO. Actually, Daryl, it sounds pretty good. There is a little bit of a, of a warble in the audio, but you have to really listen for it. But other than that, the tone is good. The uh, signal strength is good. And uh, and all that, I think you're 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 probably just a capacitor away from having it done. That's what we used to call FMing. Well, you know, it, it could be FMing. I'm having some trouble uh, stabilizing the VFO, uh, the, actually the B plus to the VFO. So that is probably what's happening, and I may be hitting it a little hard too. I'm going to back the gain down a little. That that looks a little more like what it probably ought to look like right there. Your modulation is modulating your VFO. That's what it is, incidental FM. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised at that. Uh, I'm going to have to work on it. It's been a, it, I, I've been struggling with that for a while. It, it sounds uh, very simple, but uh, it's not. More regulation on the <laughs> you know, VFO. But the fun stuff never is. But at any rate, uh, for a homebrew rig, it sounds to me it sounds pretty good right now, and I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, anything else? That's all I've got tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, Daryl. Thanks for checking in. Good luck with it. Kilo Echo Five, Quebec. Go ahead, Jim. 
Yeah, KM5 QS and the net. This is Kilo Echo 5 Quebec. Jim in Plano. I'm on the Swan 350, the one that belonged to my dad there. And uh, barefoot, of course, and going into the inverted V. And we're using the uh, uh, Turner microphone on here. And Daryl, that thing does sound good. It is wobble a little bit, FMing or whatever, but for a homebrew, it sounds real good. Anyway, thank you, JKM5QS, KE5Q. All right, Jim, good deal. Sounding great, as usual. Uh, here's one that I wrote down way earlier. Uh, I don't know if you're still here or not. Kilo Delta 5 CYP. Are you here, sir? Yeah, I'm here. It's a Kilo Alpha 5, Charlie Yankee Papa. My name is Larry. I'm near Magnolia or Hockley, Texas. We're running the Drake Twins, T4XC and the R4C. Uh, running barefoot by 140 watts with a Turner uh, Desk Mic 252. That's the setup here. Y'all sounding good? Okay, Larry. Good deal. Yeah, you're sounding, you're sounding pretty good down here yourself. I'm sitting here. I'm having to... <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Larry. RZN, go ahead, John. Yeah, KF5RZN, John here, just north of San Antonio, Canyon Lake, TS830S, driving a AL80B, about seven, 800 watts, inverted V. And I did have uh, something I wanted to throw out there. If anybody, uh, and this is probably a shot in the dark, but uh, uh, I had a want. VFO 240, the high stability uh, VFO. If anybody had one they wanted to get rid of, uh, I, I was interested. Uh, appreciate you letting me check in. KF5 RZN. Okay, you want the 240 or the 230? The 240. That's the uh, the solid state one. No, oh, they're both solid state, but uh, one of them has a readout. The other one are and memories and uh, stuff like that. That's the 230. The other one is the same VFO, just without all the bells and whistles, without the memories. Roger that. Well, I might have had that mixed up, but uh, the high stability one, uh, I know it was a shot in the dark, and I've been looking on the Internet, and I don't see any. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you letting me check in. Okay. Well, folks, if there's, I'm, I'm sure everybody could hear John as well as I do, but uh, if you know of anybody with a VFO 240 or a VFO 230 that is excess to their needs, uh, John is looking for one. And, John, the 230 is, is the best one, um, just in case. But, you know, it's up to you. Hey, comment. Go ahead. Yeah, the VFO 240 is analog, the VFO 230 is digital. Yeah, that's that's right. The 230 has a readout, the other one doesn't. That's I forgot about that. Yeah, I may have misread that in the manual, but, uh, yeah, anyway, if anybody uh, knows of anybody or has one. Okay, well, words out there to see what happens. I'll keep my eyes open for one, too. I've got one, but... Um, you can't have it. <laughs> At least not right now. Uh, that didn't sound right. Okay, thank you, John. DMC, go ahead, Doug. Well, hello, Jay, and hello, everybody on the boat anchors and at the finest hour. I always remember to say that of amateur radio in your scheduled week of ham radio activity. Anyway, okay, talk to you on a Swan 500 transceiver. What microphone came stock with this thing? Anyway, I'm talking to you on an Electro Voice 638, and it's only coupled to 70 watts out. It'll do 300 with a new set of finals, but I want to make make nights with the finals and not drive them too hard. Talk to you through a uh, Drake uh, L4 Bravo going through a Diapole, uh, positioned in the shape of a V, flat top, 30 feet off the ground, and that's it. And also, Daryl, um, take a look at some of your coupling caps in the audio section. Make sure they're not too big, because once you start drawing those low frequencies and, and, ad and addressing a, a lot of current from your B-plus supply, uh, that may make your VFO starve uh, for voltage and, and the drift. So take a look at, in your audio section, the coupling caps, 
Uh, bring those up to like a point oh one five at the largest, and give that a shot. That I had the same problem with a uh, with a Viking Valiant. So Jay, back to you and the boat anchors. And that this is N five DMC, and uh, this is Doug and East Brian. Okay. Well, thank you there. And uh, Daryl, did you get that hint? I made some changes. I wonder if this has uh, has helped the situation any. This is WA5VGO. Nice. Yes. Better now. Your low frequencies had a warble exactly what Jay said. Yeah, I, I, the, the the voltage was moving around. It's it's been tricky. It's a solid state VFO, and I, you know, it seems like I either can't regulate it or I've got hum in it. So it's it's been a mess. But I don't know. I'll get there. RF can modulate those things too. Uh, modulate your voltage regulator. So you got got to let, do a lot of bypassing and choking. Okay. Oh. All righty, good deal. Thanks for that, Doug. Let's see. Let me do a couple more, then I'll give it up to Rusty. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 5, Echo India Juliet. Come on in here, Joseph. Uh, Jay, call me next. I'll switch over. Oh, okay. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll call Mike. Uh, KL7CD, go ahead. Okay, Jay. Thanks very much, and hello to all the boat anchor enthusiasts tonight. This is Mike. I'm down in uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Call is Kilo Lima 7, Charlie Delta. Beautiful day today here in New Braunfels. And tonight I'm running boat anchors. I'm running uh, Halicrafters Twins and using the receiver uh, for both transmit and receive. So it's like a transceiver. I have the matching speaker and power supply. Uh, putting about 60 watts into an SB220, which puts that up to about, uh, I don't know, eight, somewhere between 800 and 900 watts out. Uh, and that goes via coax to a dipole up about 25 feet. Using a Shure 444D microphone, and everything's wonderful down here in uh, New Braunfels, except for the fact that the dam below Lake D. Uh, Shit, I'll think of it in a minute. Lake Dunlap, that's what it is, Lake Dunlap, which is right here in town. The dam broke, and uh, so now it's no longer a lake. It's a mud flat with a a little bit of the Guadalupe River running through it. That was a big bummer for everybody that likes to kayak and fish and ski boat and all that kind of stuff. I don't know when it'll be fixed, but that's the news from New Braunfels. Uh, Back to net. KL7 Charlie Delta. Okay, Mike. Well, it might have been an opportunity to pick up a few catfish before they found a, found a hole somewhere. But, um, oh well. <laughs> uh, they'll get it fixed. Then, uh, I guess, uh, whichever. We sounded good on the Halicrafter. Thank you, Mike. We'll talk to you later. Are you hooked up, Joseph? Uh, KM5 QS and all the boat anchors. This is Whiskey Alpha 5, Echo, India, Juliet, Joseph, Magnolia. Jay, I'd like to uh, thank you very much for leading us in the net. Rusty, same for you. You guys uh, make the evening enjoyable. Uh, as uh, George would say, the best hour in ham radio. Uh, guys, you're listening to me transmitting on a Central Electronics 200V, and I'm listening to you guys on a Drake R4 Charlie. And uh, uh, Jay, thank you, sir. Over. No problem, Joseph. It's uh, you know, it's it's nice to be with friends, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, Rusty, you want to take a few so I can? Uh, if I don't finish this sandwich that my wife brought me, she will get upset. So, uh, KM5 QS to WK5R. Okay, KM5 QS to WK5R. Okay, I'll take a look here. I'm gonna call at least two or three that I know that's here, and then I'll take some check-ins. Uh, N5 BTM, Ralph? Yes, uh, WK5R, N5 BTM, and the net. Uh, name is Ralph in spring. And this evening, we're on the green machine, the uh, SB100. 
Smith driving a GS35B uh, Russian tube, 57800 watts, going to an inverted V antenna, and we are using a uh, Shure 444 uh, microphone and uh, dipole, uh, excuse me, a uh, trap in dipole in the inverted V configuration. And the Daryl in Kingwood, that radio the last time around sounded really good. And uh, to Mike down there in New Braunfels, you now have river river access. So back to you, Rusty, N5BTM. All right, uh, Ralph, the, the 100 sounds good there. Uh, and um, by the way, I forgot to mention what I'm on. Uh, I'm on a Yazoo FT-102, and I have the FV-102DM uh, outboard VFO. The microphone is an Audio-Technica AT-2035. And I'm running that through a Behringer 802 into the back of the 102, and I'm driving a GS35B amplifier at the legal limit plus a little. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to see if Breckenridge Mike is still out there. Uh, W5EIE, are you there, Mike? Go ahead. I guess he left. Uh, and I can't remember Nick's call, but if you're there, Nick, go ahead. K5EF. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. K5EF. Nick, are you there? I guess he left. Okay. Uh, uh, I know there's some more out there that I heard earlier, but I can't remember the call, so who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. With Julia Pye, Mike Gear. Hello, Charlie 5, November, Papa Charlie. Okay, I'm going to take uh, a two there, and then I'll pick up some more. Uh, uh, NY, was it NYP? Go ahead. Something in and in Papa? Papa Charlie. KC5NPC. Okay, KC5NPC, go ahead. Hello, this is Hubert. I'm in San Angelo, running the Swan 500 Charlie X-Ray. It's an um, MC50 microphone, uh, right straight out to the off-center fed dipole, and it's sort of in a uh, sort of a U-shape, maybe a V-shape, U-shape. Anyway, it's a 160 uh, modified. Carolina window, and so right now it's just an off center fed dipole. Any old swan is uh, is uh, flying high. KC5 NPC, better put it over. Oh, Roger, yeah, the uh, the old fly 500 uh, uh, CX is uh, is uh, doing its thing there. Okay, there was another station, Union and Sierra. Uh, if you there, sir, go ahead. Whiskey Julia 5, Mike Sierra. On the TR4 today, Tim down here in Far, Texas, far, far away, far, <laughs> and uh, putting the uh, audio into the drink with a uh, D104 microphone, putting the uh, RF over there into an SB220 at about 800, 900 watts and uh, out there to 135 feet wired, about 20 feet in here. That's the size of it, Rusty. Back to that. Uh, okay, Jim. Yeah, you're uh, you're uh, up the band just a little bit, but I got all that. <laughs> I guess you like Jay got to hang on to the steering wheel. <laughs> anyway, kind of good there. Okay, there was some more stations there, and I'll try to get y'all now. Uh, who else for the boat anchors unlimited? Come now, it's, come. It's a little bit slow because some of it's a little bit light. Go ahead. Whiskey five, 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 Sierra, matched off. AC five, JJ. Okay, I got two there. Okay, one inning in golf. Go ahead. This is Kilowatt Bravo 5, Sierra, Quebec Golf. My name is Bob. I'm calling you all from Granbury, Texas. Tonight I'm operating off of my TS820 barefoot with a uh, center, or center off bed antenna using a Quantum type headset, thumb headset, with a microphone. So uh, that's what I've got here. I was hoping my audio was sounded okay on this particular unit. And uh, back to that. This is KB5. SQG, the name is Bob. 
Okay, Bob over there in Granberry. Uh, I didn't catch the uh, the model of the rig you're on at. It's a little narrow, but it is clear. Go ahead. Okay, well, the model of the uh, radio I'm using tonight is my Kenwood TS-820. Oh, okay, Kenwood TS-820. I got it. Yeah, it's a little narrow. I don't know uh, whether it would be the microphone you're on or, or, or what, but it's a little narrow. Uh, uh I don't know if you got a narrow filter kicked in or what. Uh, the audio is clear, but it's just a little bit narrow. It's probably because of the headset that I'm using. That's what I need to know. Roger, roger. Okay. Uh, all right, AA5JJ. Go ahead, Dwayne. Yeah, good evening, Russ, and everyone on the net. The call is out for Charlie 5, Juliet and Juliet. Uh, we're just trying a real simple station. It's a Kenwood 520S. With a Shure 450 microphone, I'm uh, feeding it to my PowerStar BT-1500A, which is going to a 80-meter doublet, with fed with 300 on clean lead, and it looks like I'm done about 100 at 23 watts. That's uh, all I had. Rusty just wanted to get checked in tonight, and I appreciate you, and, and uh, everyone have a good evening. AC5JJ, Cove, Texas. Okay, Dwayne, 520 sounds great there. Uh, you're a little lighter than you were earlier, but I guess the band changed between us there. And uh, we don't see you any more tonight. We'll catch you in the morning on uh, 3900. Okay, who else for the Bull Anchors Unlimited come now? Okay, I got two out of that, and I'll try to get the other two there. Uh, it was an RRT, go ahead. Yeah, this is WA5RRT in Denham Springs, Louisiana. Hey, up here. We're running a Cummins uh, 75S1 and a 32S1. We just got them up and going. So, uh, um, uh, a long distance routine to everybody. <laughs> this is my generation, being 70. I remember drilling on all these rigs that everybody's running. So, uh, I'm just glad to be able to participate, and uh, y'all are doing great, you know. Roger, roger. Well, the, the Collins station sounds great there. Uh, we're really putting out some audio. I got a cousin that's your neighbor down there in Denham Springs. <laughs> he lives down there not too far off of uh, of 12 there as you take off the split going towards uh, New Orleans there. Anyway, Collins sounds great, and uh, I'll move on and pick up... Uh, uh, I think that was Byron there. Edward David X-Ray, go ahead. Yeah, Rusty. Right. It was Byron. WA5 Edward David X-Ray, Bluffdale, Texas. Uh, tonight I'm running a uh, deep kit, the old green machine, HW101. I've been working on here for the last week. I think I've about got it all wrung out now, so you can be real critical on this, how it sounds. Everybody's coming in real loud. Uh, most people between 20 and 40 over high, and uh, not too much static range. So uh, everybody is sounding good tonight. Uh, the antenna is an inverted V, about 40 feet, and the mic is electro voice. Something up. So that's all I know for sure. Looks like summer's back. Rain showers are over. I think we've all had enough rain. Uh, I hope your mowers are tinned up as well as your radio, because uh, you will be spending some quality time out on the mowers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I believe. I know I did. That's what I'll let you today, besides uh, play with this uh, heat kit. So back to you, Rusty. Hope everybody has a good evening. WA5 Edward David X. Now, okay, Byron, is that the one you were having problems with the hum the other day? No, I started to mention it's another rig. I just uh, pulled off the front knob and uh, shoved another one under it. Hi, hi. No, I didn't think I, I fixed the hum in that other one, but uh, I was uh, on to this one for tonight. Over. Okay, that one sounds good there, real good. Okay, uh, I did hear a few more stations in there, but I didn't get any calls. I'll see if I can pick them out of there now. Who else for the uh, Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Whiskey 5, Delta Kilo. November 5, November Yankee Zulu. Okay, I got two there. Right. Uh, W5DK, go ahead. All right, good evening. Uh, name's Don, Delta Oscar, November. W5DK, I'm in Spring Branch. 
the Spring Branch in Comal County, north of San Antonio. And running a Drake TR4, an old standby, with a 104 mic on it. And that's going into the L4, not a B. And that's going through a Heath Kit 2060. And a double extended ZEP antenna out above the oak trees here. Everybody sounds good. Just getting in for the count. And always look forward to Wednesday. Back to you, W5DK. Okay, uh, yeah, that, uh, your Drake station sounds good there. Okay, the next station, uh, dang, I had it for a minute and I forgot it, but it was something with, uh, I, I think it was either one or two ends in the suffix there, uh, coming in. Rusty, there's a Whiskey 5. Mike, Whiskey's been trying to get in. Okay, I will pick him up and then... Uh, I'll get that other one to give me the call sign again, because I heard him pretty good. Uh, Whiskey 5, Mike Whiskey, I believe it was. Go ahead. Hello, uh, uh, thank you, Sarah J. Uh, yeah, W5NW is my new call. I've checked in with y'all before with uh, w 5 Uh Got a new call here just recently. I bought uh, the pair of A-Line Drakes, uh, T4X and uh, R4A. Uh, got them... Uh, Running together with an injection cable, uh, working in transmitter mode, and um, running the power down a little bit, running into a national lamp, running about a thousand watts uh, out over here in Pearland, Texas, uh, running uh, into a inverted V and IMAX 4080 dipole in the backyard. Y'all are all sounding really good to me tonight. I hope I'm on frequency and, uh, and enjoy the net. Um, anyway, this is W5 Mike W. Um, and uh, name is Lynn, Lima Echo November. Uh, back to the net. Okay, Lynn, uh, uh, you're good and strong. You're just a little bit up the band. I did not catch what rig you're on. What, are you, what rig are you running? Uh, I'm running a um, pair of Drake Twins. And, uh, you know, what's funny is my transmitter's right on, and I can flip it over to receiver, and it's right on, so I don't know why I'm on, how I could possibly be off. Uh, I don't. Uh, sounds to me like y'all are perfect in frequency on both of them. When I flip it off transmitter and the receiver, sound, you sound, everybody sounds good except somebody that, that y'all say is off. But it's the pair of uh, A-Line Drake Twins, um, and I got the original speaker with uh, uh, the original power supply with it. And, um, and it takes them a little while to stabilize, but they seem to seem to be good after after about uh, 30 minutes or so they, they warm up. But, Anyway, I, I guess I got to do a little tweaking. Uh, they're new to me. I'm not that used to it. I got a D104 that I'm using for uh, a microphone, and I had to change out the element. I got one of those uh, K4 IR whatever uh, elements I had to put in it because the other one was bad. D-based, D-based microphone. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for the thanks, thanks for the report. Uh, you're quite welcome. The only thing I think of is they're, maybe they're just not quite tracking or something there. But anyway... Uh, Interesting thing about that call you got, I seen a write-up in the paper here uh, a few years ago about an old, old ham down here in a little town called Kenton, uh, about 16 miles southeast of me, passed away, and he had the original version of that call sign. It was back before they even had a, a prefix. It's uh, uh, probably from the 20s. <laughs> and... Uh, that's when they just took the call, the call area, and their initials. This call was 5MW. It was back in the 20s. <laughs> a little interesting there, uh, uh, Land, go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 a friend of mine talked me into it, said to look it up, told me he got his 20 word per minute extra just to get a 1x2 with his initials. And I looked and saw that this one's going to be available in about two or three months, and MW is my first and last initial. And it also was going to be uh, decided on my birthday. So I thought, well, uh, I'll just give it a shot. So I put in a try for it. The hat draw, uh, one out of 30 chance. I wasn't going to try for another call, kind of like my other one. And uh, I got lucky. And uh, I don't have to worry about when it's renewed because it's, uh, it, it, I got the call on my birthday. So... It's, uh, it's kind of like it fits, so I'll, I'll definitely keep it. Uh, W5MW. Okay, Lynn. Catch you later on there. All right. Uh, I'll see if I can get the other ones now. Who else for the Burn Rankers Unlimited come now? Uh, 
Yeah, comment. Hey, Bobby, yeah. Okay, I got uh, two there. Let me pick up the comment first, and then I'll pick up Nick. Yeah, sorry, I just had to interrupt. He should have bought a lottery ticket, too. That's good luck for him. W5DK. Roger, roger. Okay, k 5 e Go ahead, Nick. Except my uh, transmitter's giving me trouble here. It's K5EF. Just wanted to say hi to everyone. Uh, you might have called me earlier, but I got stuck on a phone call. But nothing new to report here. Everything's uh, copacetic. Been working on a on a Cosmophone 35, which I almost, well, at least I believed I had working just fine. Then I noticed the longer it was on, the less output it had. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm tracking that down. It's a driver problem, so... Hope to get it fixed uh, tonight. Anyway, that's it, guys. 73, K5EF. All right, sounding good there, Nick. We'll catch you next next time. Okay, uh, I know there's still some more there. Let's uh, let's go again. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Uh, Kilo, Kilo 5, Lima, Tango. November 5, November Yankees. Hello. Uh, that's the one I missed a while ago. November 5, November Yankees, Zulu. Go ahead. No, okay, fine. Let's see. Thank you. November 5, November Yankee Zulu, Tom and Alpine, Texas. Um, I got the old and new on here tonight. And, uh, for the new, uh, I got the uh, transmitters, the TS-890. I've had it about two, three weeks now. I really like it. And uh, it's going out to a pal star, solid state kilowatt. And I'm running about, uh, looks like 900 watts. And the old is... Uh, I thought I'd listen in this evening on my my receiver. It's a Raykel 6790GM. I got it through an auction uh, when I lived in New Mexico at Los Alamos National Laboratory. In fact, I came over with two of them from there. We sent them, uh, excuse me, we sent them off to get them aligned and checked out. There's a fellow in Maryland uh, who does that. Uh, he's retired from Raykel. Anyway, uh, it cost me about $400 each for them, but they work perfect, and they've been running fine all the year. Uh, all signals are 8 to 10 over SMI out here, and uh, I heard Byron okay there, too. So. Uh, so back to you, Rusty. Thanks for having me in. November 5, November Yankee Zulu, Alpine, that's it. Okay, Tom, sounding good from Alpine there. I'm not familiar with those receivers, but uh, apparently they're working. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a couple more out of here, then I'll let Jay do a round there. Uh, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Golf Squad, Juliet, Golf Squad. Hello, Golf 5, Whiskey Papa Echo. Okay, 5, L.Y.O. Okay, I got two there. Uh, I think the first one was Freddy, was that you? Roger, Roger. Uh, oh. I'm at about 20 with a hand mic, uh, more footage, over. Okay, you're having trouble, trouble copying, uh, somebody can read that side. What is the three to the north? Okay. Woo, I had to strain my ears a little bit there, uh, to, to get everything you said there on the, uh, Indoor antenna. I don't know if you got an outdoor one. Yet. I knew you were talking the other day about getting one, I think. But the 520S is uh, sounding okay there, Freddie. Uh, uh, i move on to the next one. Uh, K5LYO. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, I guess I'll ever buy an apology. I pretty much overreacted big time. And nobody has to accept it. That's not the goal here. The goal is that when I do that and have an outburst, I have to attempt to make amends for it, so as all I apologize to everybody. I severely overreacted. K A five L Y. God bless you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Todd there. Uh, uh thank you for coming back and doing that. Uh okay, uh Jay, I need to catch my breath, so I'm gonna let you uh pick up and uh push and get a few more there. Okay, yeah, I heard a couple more K five R. Thank you, Todd. All right, uh, let's see. K5LT, go ahead, sir. Uh, good evening, Jay. Name on this end is Lyle, Lima Yankee Lima Echo, uh, located just north of uh, Bernie, Texas, which is just north of San Antonio. And um, 
Tonight we're running the uh, Heath kit. Got the SB101 running. We're running into a SB221 amplifier and going out to a double extended step antenna running through the cedar trees and I think it's wrapped around a couple more. So uh, everybody's sounding good tonight and uh, glad to hear everybody on. Have a good evening. K5LT. All right, sounding good down here, no problem. Moving right along, let's see, Whiskey Papa Echo, go ahead, sir. Uh, good evening, this is Civil Golf 5, Whiskey Papa Echo. Uh, enjoy listening to everyone as usual on Wednesday night on these great old radios. Uh, I'm running the same radio I usually do, the KW Electronics 2000A, uh, the English-made radio. Uh, going into an attic mounted uh, random length dipole. Uh, hopefully, I will have that rec uh, I'll have that change soon. I have an outdoor antenna. I just need to do a little more tweaking on it, and maybe I could have a little better signal. Uh, with that, I'll turn it back to Annette, KG5 WPE. All right, good deal, Jason. That thing continually sounds. It sounds good every time. So um, <laughs> keep her, keep up the good work. And uh, yeah, antennas are fun when you get them right. Boy, I tell you that that's. That tops everything off. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Anyone we've missed yet that we haven't visited with yet, uh, come now with the suffix of your call sign, please. Delta Radio. Oh, I knew you were there. Dad got it. Go ahead. Well, good evening, everybody. This is Kilo Kilo 5, Delta Radio. Matt here. And uh, I am uh, talking on my real nice looking and working uh, Fox Tango 102 Yezu. About 190 watts out. And uh, that's going into my uh, full wave double zip at 60 feet up off the ground. So that's what we're doing here. And I uh, got, got back yesterday from uh, Dayton Hamvention and uh, had lots of fun, saw it, lots of neat things, and uh, uh, bought a uh, uh, ICOM uh, IC740 and uh, got it at a real good price, matching speaker and microphone, and, uh, all the documentation, looked real nice, tested it out today, and it works real fine, everything is working on it, and it works real good, nice vintage rig, uh, added to the collection. Anyway, that's all we got over here from the Fat Chicken Ranch, Page, Texas, KK5DR. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's the Fat Chicken Ranch now. Okay, well, that'll work. <laughs> um, no, it sounds great. That 102 is always, that, that, that's a pretty radio. It really is. Okay, anyone else for the boat anchors this evening? Come now, please. Kilo, bravo, papa. Go ahead, Marty. Yeah, I appreciate it, Jake. Call here is November 5, Kilowatt Bravo Papa. I'm um, located in Northeast Texas. I'm running an old uh, Yaesu FT-102. Uh, got to throttle back about 60 watts to drive a little uh, AO811 amplifier. Uh, and the uh, antenna has a 200 foot extended zip at about 50 feet. And believe it or not, I'm driving with a uh, modified uh, Kilowatt MC-50. Uh, so that's about it on this end. Uh, in 5 KBP back to that. Oh, my goodness. Old Denver would, uh, he would say that you were running a K Wood. Oh, I mean, a K. Oh, well, no, how would he. Never mind, it's not important. <laughs> but it sounds good. Yay Wood, I think, is what he'd call it. Um, 102's a cool radio. Oh, I used to want one, but I haven't. Never was lucky enough to find one I could uh, pick up. Yeah, literally, they're heavy. Thank you, Marty. KM5 QS with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. Is there anyone else we've missed? Uh, Recheck, WA5, Edward David X-Ray. Uh, go ahead, Byron. Uh, switch rigs. Uh, switch rigs. I'm now on a uh, Kenwood 520S. We just heard one, and so I thought I'd fire this one up. I've never had this one on the net before. Wonder how the audio, audio and signal is on it real quick. Over. Uh, thank you, Jake. 
Well, it's um, it's fine. It sounds good. I can understand every word you said. Uh, it's nice and clean and clear, so I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> okay, that's all I needed to know. Good night, everybody. All right, good deal, Byron. Okay, who's next for the boat anchors unlimited? Kilo Charlie 5, Lima. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, good evening, Jay, and the boat anchor set. Uh, name is Tom, and we're in San Antonio, and uh, running the usual here, transmitter Central Electronics 200B. Uh, the receiver is an R390A, and uh, balance line tuner and ladder line fed uh, doublet of about 15 feet. So, again, just want to say good evening to everyone and really enjoy listening to all the old radios. Back to that KC 5 Okay, Tom, appreciate you checking in. We'll look for you next week. Uh, anybody else? KM5QS with the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Uh, come with a call sign, please. WV5I. Go ahead. Bye-bye, Dwayne and Munster. We're on the Collins Series 3 line with a 30S1. Microphones are a triple 4D, and the antenna is an inverted V at 35 feet. All right. It's, uh, you're coming in pretty good down here, even though my receiver is not exactly... Well, I don't know. It seems to be working pretty good right now. Anyway, uh, thank you, sir. Anything else? Uh, everybody's sounding good. Uh, we have some uh, static crashes. There's thunderstorms about 80 miles west of us, but maybe we'll stay dry today. <laughs> okay. Are you up there in Oklahoma? No, about 12 miles south of the Red River on Highway 82. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw in the news today that uh, the central part of Oklahoma was really catching that uh, there were kind of lots of flooding and stuff going on. So, anyway... Um, I don't wish anybody any harm, but that stuff can stay away. There you go, 73. All right, good deal. Thanks for checking in. Anyone else? KM5QS. WA5MOE. Go ahead, sir. Mike, we're over in College Station. Everybody sounds pretty good out here. We're running the Drake TR4 barefoot. Okay, Mike, your TR4 sounds fine down here in Alice. Uh, even barefoot. Dang. I guess my receiver's better than I thought it was. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yeah, well, it's not your receiver. It's just my super high power signal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot to take into account your your quality transmitting station. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're talking about. I have to. I'm screaming in the microphone, you know, to get all that power out of this fine station. Anyway, nice to hear everybody on here. So I'll let you go. W A five M O E. Okay, Mike. Who's next uh, for the boat anchors? I'm limited. Come now. Okay, Rusty, you rested up. You want to take another shot? Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Jay, you need to grab a hold of your steering wheel. You're uh, you're down the band just slightly now. Yeah, I'll fix it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. This is WK5R again with the uh, boat anchors unlimited. Is there anybody else we missed out there? Uh, come now. Whiskey Bravo 5 Tango X-ray Whiskey. Okay, that station track one more time. You're real light, and if anybody can hear him better than me, grab him. That's George TXW. Oh, George down in Austin. Okay, go ahead, George. Yeah, howdy. That's funny. I hear you pretty good, Rusty. Anyway, I'm on the rice box stuff. Still have problems with the. Uh, the uh, S-Line radios, but happy to be here for the best hour of amateur radio for the week. WB5TXW back to net. He's done, Rusty. Okay. Yeah, he's on, I think he said he was on the S-Line there, but I just barely could hear him there. Uh, thanks for the relay, Jay. Okay. okay. No, no, he's, he's, he's uh, he limited. was on a... His S line's still under repair, but uh, he was on his other radio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, George. <laughs> the band just wasn't real good clean air and office for some odd reason. Anyway, anybody else for the Bowlegers Unlimited before we get ready to 
Close this thing down. Uh, go ahead. One more time, I'll make this the last call because I'm not hearing anybody else. Anybody else out there we haven't talked to yet and wants to talk about uh, boat anchors uh, come now? I don't hear anything, Jay. You want to take one last shot and then we'll tie the ribbon on it? Yeah, I can't believe I can do that. All right, folks, this has been the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net for this evening. Is there anyone that we have not talked to yet that would like to check in? Do so now, please. All right, hearing nothing, I would like to thank everyone who participated in this endeavor this evening. We appreciate it. We know how much work it is to keep these old rigs on the air and, and operating halfway decent. Uh, thank you for your participation, and I uh, look forward to seeing you all again next week. That being said, we will now return this frequency to what passes for normal amateur use. KM5QS, now clear. All right. Thank you, everybody. This is WK5R listening. Good job, Rusty and Jay and 5DMC. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, Rusty and Jay. Y'all the best. 73.